Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. So, uh, I'm gonna take a look and see when they sent me the email, because, yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, anyway, so I've got some, September. Um, got some wines here from Yano Estacado, and um, they're a West Texas winery. Um, they make quite a wide variety of wines, and they sent me six different wines. Um, kind of see these the reds over here let's move those out of the way all right uh anyway uh they sent me six different wines we have three whites three reds we're doing the whites first and then we'll do the reds after that um i won't go through all the history of yano estacado and all that i'll you'll be, you'll be there'll be a link below for you to check it out um for the white for the white wines I don't know the price of this. I'm going to have to contact them. Luckily, this is one of the last episodes I recorded tonight, so I have plenty of time to get the pricing um, because it just says call for availability. And in the notes they gave me, there was no pricing. Give me the pricing. Don't just say click here. Um, anyway, hey, I'm happy you gave me some free samples, though. So, you know. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start with the Pinot Grigio. Uh, this is a 2016 Pinot Grigio. Uh, signature series, Yano Estacado, uh, Texas Appalachian. Boom, there you go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's made from Pinot Grigio grapes, 77% grown on the Texas Hype, oh, $11 uh, on the, at the winery. 77% um, uh, grown on the Texas High Plains, uh, the Ready Vineyards, and 23% Sauvignon Blanc. All right. All right, let's see here. Let's check this out. How to get a new white wine glass. Because that last episode I had to uh, get other, had to use that, he had to use the white wine glass for another wine. All right. So let's check it out. Kind of fruity, um, kind of peachy. Little white flowers. So I don't see any t other tasting notes. I don't even know what I said is even in there. Not much else. Like I said it was kind of peach, kind of white flowers. That's about it. So that's good acid. Um, it's actually kind of kind of rounded though. Um, so it's not as acidic as I was expecting, but it's still there. Um, the, the peach is there, the orange and tangerines there, uh, white flowers, uh, so a little more fruit on the palate. Um, it's very pleasant, um, like really easy drinking, and it's 11 bucks. Like, it's $11 Texas wine that doesn't suck. And it's Pinot Grigio that you know, I love to hate on. But that bit of um, Sauvignon Blanc is probably helping out, um, kind of give it a little more fuller body. Um, it's good. I like it. All right. 
Moving on, trying to power through these lines. And we really impressed if this phone makes it all the way through the end of the next of the last episode. All right, so wine number two. This is the Llano Estacado or Llano Estacado. Uh, there's a town called Llano, spelt like this, but Llano is how you actually pronounce it. Uh, Cellar Reserve Chardonnay 2016 Texas. Let's flip this over, see what interesting information they have for me. This wine was made using traditional techniques that enhance the aromatics and mouth texture of this popular variety. Uh, classic Texas chart. No, okay, boom, stop. <laughs> because that's tasty notes. And so nothing else really about the wine. So let's see from the from my tasting, not from reading anything. Let's see if we can see if there's um, if they let it go through mallow and how much oak and all that fun stuff they did. Chardonnay is one of those grapes where you can do anything. People do a ton of stuff to it. So in many ways, it's more about the process, not about the actual grape itself. And we're going to flip this over so I don't see anything else. Uh, did the phone die? I don't know. I'll have to find out. Yeah, I think the phone just died, which is fine. I mean, it was pretty impressive. It lasted as long as it did without being plugged in. All right, so back to the wine. I get such an apple. Like a yellow apple skin. Yeah, phone died, which is fine. Touch of at first I thought maybe like banana, but no, I don't think so. Call me crazy, but I got like a touch of tortilla, like flour tortilla just now. I don't know. I don't get a whole lot on the nose. And these wines are totally warm now, so I mean, they should be very aromatic. Chardonnay is not an aromatic grape, I know. But I mean, you know, the, the white wines aren't cold, so they're not very closed off. Yeah, I mean, it was like, it was like a, um, <clears throat> not quite a creaminess to it, but kind of a bread quality to it. Maybe there's some lees stirring. Maybe it, it, it rests on the lees a little bit. Interesting. On the palate, you get the you get like the red apple, golden apple, a little caramel, so a little caramel apple action. Um, Definitely a soft, uh, so while you get the malic acid and the apple, the apple flavors, it also feels like there's been a bit of um, malolactic has gone through. So you get a touch of creaminess to it. Um, it's not super acidic, so the acid is a little bit more reduced or more diminished. Um, so this might be something that's it's it either went through mallow, but it retained the apple type or the malic flavors. Um, or with a partial mallow. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's gone through some type of mallow lactic fermentation. It's got, yeah, I mean, those are the dominant flavors, you know, caramel apple, um, but like red and yellow apple. Um, not necessarily green, so like it's it's gone through a little bit of softening, uh, touch of cream, touch of oak, like kiss of oak type of thing, a um, little bit of vanilla, uh, a little bit of yeah, a little bit of that tortilla, kind of weird.
Yeah. It's pleasant. I mean, it tastes like Chardonnay. Um, you know, a little oaky. So probably seen some oak, some new oak, maybe American oak rather than French oak. Maybe just a touch of it, not a ton of it. Um, it's good. Um, tastes like Chardonnay. It's 20, 20 bucks. I forgot to tell you. It's $20. Um, at the winery, so it's very fairly priced, especially for you know a, 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 wine, a wine outside of the big four, um, which tend to be super high priced. Well, not super high priced, but tend to be higher priced than their than their comparable wines from California, especially and like Oregon, Washington, New York. So, I mean, it tastes like a quality twenty dollars Chardonnay. Like it's appropriately priced. And if you told me this was California, I would believe you. Um, so yeah. Let's see what the back label says anything relevant. Uh... Doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything at all. It says it has aromas of citrus and tropical fruit. Nah, I pretty much get apples and, you know, I, I kind of thought I got a little orange or tangerine, so citrus, yeah. Uh, but not tropical. Anyway, um, and there was like a touch of like popcorn, burnt popcorn on it too. Buttered burnt popcorn. So yeah, all right, so let's get... It's, it's tasty. You know, a lot of people will like it. All right, so let's get into the 1836. So the Yano Estacado White Wine, 1836 uh, is the name of the wine. It's not the vintage. Vintage is 2016 from Texas. So let's read the back label real quick. On April 21st, 1836, a band of rugged pioneers in part of northern Mexico, known as Tejas, won the historic Battle of San Jacinto, San Jacinto. This wine celebrates the spirit of those who fought for the great Republic of Texas. All right, let's see if they have anything else on the other stuff. Nope. And there was no, um, there was really nothing I saw on the website to give you an indication as to what the blend is on here. Let's see if I can, let's see if there's anything on here. All right, here we go. Uh, it's an aromatic and richly textured blend of Viognier, Roussan, and Chardonnay. I don't have a price. Um, it said this wine is aged Sur Lee for several months, which means it's aged on the Lees. And it was also allowed to complete malolactic. Let's see if the Chardonnay they say anything on the Chardonnay? No, it just says the same thing as everything else. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I mean, I smell stuff, but it's kind of hard for me to really pinpoint. I mean, touch of orange, orange blossom. And it only just smells like wine. Hold on. Sometimes you have to reset your senses, and that's the perfect way to do it is to you know, smell your sleeve, smell your arm. I get um, kind of... Uh, Orange peel. Tangerine. Peach. Peach skin. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've had a different vintage of this wine because I know they've sent me a bunch of wines before and I'm almost positive I had this. I just don't remember the price. So I'll either look, I'll either look at my old 
episode, I'll just email them and say, hey, how much is it? Hmm. It's right here in the notes, too, what the grapes are. I don't know. I, I saw the word honey, and I'm trying to think if I said aromas on it. I don't get that. But I can kind of tell. I kind of can get the honey on the palate a little bit. Um, there's a bit of tartness to it, a little bit of acidity. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of the orange, almost like an orange tea. Like, that's kind of weird, but I feel like there's a bit of bitterness to it, like what they call phenolic bitterness. Um, it's almost like, like a peach, almost like a peach tea rather than an orange tea, but I get the peach, the orange, uh, tangerine, um, I don't really get the flowers in the palette. It's definitely very pleasant. Um, it's a very easy drinking wine. My guess is it's probably in this $20 price point. Um, but again, uh, you know, by the time the, air, the episode airs, you'll have the price on there because I will have contacted them on it. So, I mean, it's a nice wine. I mean, if it's dramatically more than $20, I might be like, well, it's getting a little pricey. But, you know, if it's that $20 to $25 range, or if it's like $15, even better, um, it's a pleasant wine. It's good. I mean, if you're in Texas and you see it at a grocery store, I don't know if they have it because I think it's pretty much a wine... A winery only thing get it or contact them it's really nice really easy drinking especially when summertime kits which is you know feels like it's now in, in texas i don't know why i'm moving that out of the way all right so um that's gonna do it for this episode uh once again thank you for stopping by uh click the links above to friend me up click the links over there to send me some ducats to help with uh, everything um 402 go to that episode uh click the link below for the links for the winery and we'll see everyone again next time